Hello. It's really good to see you. Uh, today, we're going to take a look at some items that I purchased just today at Goodwill. Um, and I, I purchased some jewelry, but I also bought some non-jewelry items. But a lot of people love to see the jewelry, so I'm going to do that first. And then we'll get into the other items. Um, the first thing I have um, actually did not come from Goodwill. This came from eBay, but it just happened to come in the mail this afternoon. And I figured while we were looking at jewelry, we could look at this. It's a necklace. And it's still in the plastic. It is a rhinestone choker. And I thought this would just be really pretty to wear here at Christmas time. It has little rhinestones that are arranged to look like little snowflakes all over at the front of the choker. And then the back. The back has individual rows of rhinestones all the way up, <clears throat> all the way up to the lobster claw clasp right here. This is from Crystal Avenue, and I got this on eBay. I think it was $10. So I thought this would be um, just a fun little necklace to wear. I would wear this to work or wherever. Nice little necklace to wear here at Christmas time. So I thought well, while we were looking at jewelry, we'd look at that. Now, I'm very lucky to be in this area because um, the Goodwills here, I don't, I don't know that they all do this, but the Goodwills in this area have a great deal of jewelry from this one company uh, called Terramanda. And they have all different types of things. They have rings, earrings, bracelets and necklaces of all different types and colors and designs and they're just oh they're beautiful absolutely beautiful and I got really lucky today because I had uh, right before I got to Goodwill they had completely restocked their jewelry display with some new uh, some new items they just got in from the uh, the manufacturer so everything was organized and you know after a while it gets all messed up like the necklaces get tangled up in themselves and earrings go missing and you know it's just the whole display gets kind of messy so I got really lucky because they just restocked so I got to look through it and I tried to control myself I didn't want to buy too much but I did buy a few pieces and I wanted to show you that right here at the beginning of the video before we get into um, the other things I bought the first thing I wanted to show you was one of two rings that I bought today. And it's it's just, oh, it's just beautiful. It's I've never seen a ring like this. Look at that. Now, this is a silver ring, and it is a stretch ring. Like, it has, these individual pieces are attached with elastic. But look at this remarkable stone right here. It's raised up, as you can see. I have never seen a setting like that. It is so beautiful. And then it has these blue rhinestones all the way around it. Kind of a teal color. Very small, but they go all the way around. This one enormous <laughs> big rhinestone here. It's just, it's breathtaking. It's absolutely beautiful. And you see that the rings are attached to these pieces here. And they just had them hanging like this. And it's kind of a big ring, but I can wear it. Um, I can wear it like that. See? You see it's kind of raised up here. You can see how tall that is kind of wide. It's quite large. It's about an inch all the way across. But it's just, it's just absolutely gorgeous. I mean, <laughs> it's just, I don't know. <laughs> that definitely looks like our sparkly friend to me. <laughs> so that was the first, um, this was what caught my eye first. This was the first thing that I picked out. <clears throat> And then, while I was looking at some of the other rings, um, some of them have sizes, like they'll be six, seven, eight, 
and most of those are just they're too big and I can't wear them except like on my thumb and I'm not a big fan of wearing rings on my thumb so some of the rings that I liked I didn't get because they were just too big but this one this was another one that was so unique I've never seen anything like it look at this can you believe that <laughs> It's made up of all these little, tiny, sparkly things. It's like the inside of a geode, you know, when you crack them open and they have all those crystals inside. To me, it's exactly like that. And it has this heavenly purple hue to it. And it's also quite large. That's over an inch. And then it also has um, kind of a stretchy, flexible band to it that has elastic in there to make it uh, fit better. But it fits about like the other one. I'm going to put it on so you can see. And we have a four prong setting. One, two, three, four. And look at that. It just covers like from knuckle to knuckle. It's definitely a statement ring. But it's the most beautiful. It's sort of a plum color. And it is very, very glittery and sparkly. It's just, it's fantastic. And the rings are especially appealing. These Terramanda rings at Goodwill, because all of the rings, no matter how fancy they are, they're all $2.99 a piece. $2.99 for this ring. And the other one was $2.99 as well. I'll show you that one one more time. Look at that. That was $2.99. It's just, it's, it's too good of a deal to pass up. And I was really glad I got there right after they restocked. Um, because a lot of these pieces like this go very quickly. They don't, they don't last. People snap them up. Because it's such a good deal. Now, I also got a pair of earrings. I only got one pair. There were several pairs that I looked at, but... I'm trying to control myself, try not to buy too much. <laughs> um, but these were just, these were very pretty. I like these. And they have some really big earrings, like just really big. Um, these aren't terribly big, but I really like them. See, they look like a little flower. And they're, they're basically like a, they're just black. But it's, um, has a little piece in the middle. And it's just a delicate little flower. And they come on these, you see, they're, they're pierced earrings, but I can very easily convert those to clip-ons that will hang down with no trouble at all. Um, but I don't have many black earrings, and every now and then I want to wear, um, if I'm wearing a black necklace, I might want something just kind of simple, you know, to wear with that. And I have some small black hoops that I can just attach these to, just thread them through the hoop so they hang down, and that'll just, that'll be just perfect. So they're not terribly big, they're not heavy at all, they're very lightweight. And the petals, you can see, have little holes in them. They almost remind me of a wrought iron, like a wrought iron chair, you know, that has the, the delicate pattern to it. These petals remind me of that. And in the very center, we have this little black stone right there. Just a single stone. So these, um, I think these were also $2.99. I have a cat over here jumping in my, I have a little storage bin. She just jumped in it. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, these were $2.99. The rings were $2.99. Um, the earrings were $2.99, and the bracelets and necklaces are $4.99 each. I actually only bought one bracelet this time. Um, they had some really pretty bangle bracelets, but I'm not a big bangle bracelet person. I like flexible bracelets, um, especially if I'm wearing them to work, because I work at a computer all day, and, and a bangle bracelet, you know, it kind of bangs on the, on the desk, you know, when I'm typing or doing things, and it's just... It gets on my nerves. So I like one that's kind of flexible. I found this one that was just beautiful. Look at this. Now this, this is elastic. It has elastic holding it together. 
look at the beautiful colors in these in these pieces here see these rectangular and they're plastic it's plastic rectangular pieces we have orange and brown and then kind of um almost kind of a beige color but this to me i mean i know these are kind of fall colors but these actually make me think of summer because i have several summer dresses that kind of have that color scheme to them and this bracelet would look just beautiful with those dresses see it's kind of wide it's some um, sort of a wide bracelet but I love I love the colors it's just so unique I've never seen a bracelet like this you know typically um, it seems for me typically when I see a bracelet like this it's a big thick bangle bracelet like you know just a big chunky bracelet and I think they're cool but they don't really fit my lifestyle very well very well I like one with some give to it it doesn't bang on the desk and make a lot of noise like a bangle bracelet would so this was the only bracelet I bought today <clears throat> it's just unique I like the little patterns, kind of geometric, and each, each little panel, each piece is different. It's like you're looking at a bunch of puzzle pieces all fit, all put together wrong or something. So I thought it was, I thought it was cool. I was glad to find that, and then I bought four necklaces because <laughs> you get right down to it. I don't really have that much self-control. <laughs> Here's the first one. Now, this is, I want to say it's kind of an antique gold. Not real gold, obviously, but it's kind of made to look antique or burnished. And then it has these pieces here attached that are kind of a bluish green color, almost like the color of a peacock's feathers mixed in with the antique gold again in these individual pieces and up here we have an adjustable chain with a very small lobster claw clasp that blends in nicely with the other links up here and a long adjustment that's over two inches so you can make it two inches longer if you want And see the pieces get larger as you go down this way. It's just, it's lovely, I think. See? Very, very pretty pieces. I like that one a lot almost iridescent if you look at it. It's like the wings of a Japanese beetle. Their wings are like that. So that was the first the first necklace. Oh, this one is so cool. And all of these necklaces that I bought, it was the only one they had like it. So most of the necklaces it seems like are kind of one of a kind. They'll only have one of them, maybe two. So if you see a necklace you like, you really have to grab it right then because when you come back, it's probably not going to be there anymore. Look at this one. Now this sort of is um, a necklace. Like this whole part will lay flat on your chest. It's kind of hard to hold it out, but look at all these beautiful pieces in here. And in the center, we have this one blue, and your eye is really drawn to this blue one right here in the middle. And it's surrounded by rhinestones, small rhinestones. And then on the sides, we have all different shapes and colors of rhinestones and multifaceted um, beads. They're made of plastic, like this one is kind of a burgundy color. 
It has a little sparkle of its own, even though it's not a rhinestone. The different facets catch the light as you move. And we have a large one down here at the bottom. It's kind of hard because they've got the chain so short. It's obviously longer, but they have it kind of uh, wound up in here to make it shorter on the um, little, piece, little piece here where they hang it. Um, and they all have $14.99 on the back, but that's not what you actually pay. They're only $4.99. <clears throat> and here's the back. You can see all the mounting, all the mounts for the different rhinestones and beads and pieces, plastic pieces. But it's, it's just very, um, very detailed and complicated. <laughs> I really like it, and this I really like this blue piece here in the in the middle. That focal point is just really interesting to me. It has kind of a bronze colored chain with a bronze multi a, a bronze lobster claw clasp. I'm not exactly sure how long it is. I'm not going to know until I take it off this part. I imagine it's not terribly long though. That was the second necklace. This third one. This is another choker. It's the second choker I have to show you today. It's very lightweight, but it looks like it would be heavy, but it's actually not. Now here I'm going to show you the pendant first. The pendant is made of plastic, and it's multicolored, and it's made to look like a flower. Look at those beautiful colors in there. We have blues and then orange, yellow, and dark red. And here's the back. It's a gold color, but it's basically just it's just a um a plastic piece on this beautiful woven necklace. I mean I would wear this just by itself. It's just a woven choker with a great deal of adjustment here so you can adjust it to fit you and you can't see it because it's concealed under here but it has a gold lobster claw clasp and a weighted chain which is quite long it's about three inches you can adjust it to fit you so it's this pretty pretty woven material that I thought that was kind of cool. This was the only one they had like that. So I'm glad I found it. <clears throat> and this is my last necklace. It's very, very pretty. Oh my gosh. It has these beautiful midnight blue sparkly beads. And midnight blue is like my favorite color. There's a cat behind me. <laughs> Midnight blue, and then woven in with that are these gunmetal black links. This chain is just woven around all that blue shininess. And then there are also these black multifaceted beads as well. And the entire necklace is consistent. It's all the same. You know, sometimes with these, the beads, um, the pieces will get larger as you get down to the bottom part. This one does not do that. They are all the same size. And the chain back here is very simple. It's very small. And of course, again, we have this very simple lobster claw clasp right here. And a very, <clears throat> a very short adjustable chain there. But I just love this. This, I mean, this would be so pretty with just about anything. Look at that. They make a pretty bracelet too. <laughs> very, very sparkly. <clears throat> so that is all of the jewelry. And I want to show you show you uh, one pair of shoes I got today. These shoes are adorable. Um, and what I plan to do, I don't know how comfortable these would be to wear every day, but I thought I could wear them 
Um, we have a, a little holiday party at work every year. And I was thinking about wearing the uh, Santa dress that I got for Lynette. I was thinking about wearing that to work that day. And these shoes complete the outfits so perfectly. Look at these shoes. They're like, they have like a Santa Claus theme to them. They have the red and white. And then they have the big black buckle right across the top of the foot. Isn't that the coolest shoe? Look, and then we have back here on the heel, the general pattern is repeated. Um, we have primarily white up to here, and then we have a black little strap here, and then the red again here. And the red continues up the strap that goes around the back of the foot. These are made by Naughty Monkey. <laughs> I've never heard of that. A Naughty Monkey. And I said, these are perfect, and they're even my size. I was so excited. Um, I got them for $4. And I think I'm going to wear these with my Santa costume. <laughs> it's not really a Santa costume, but it's like a Christmas dress. So I just thought these shoes were just adorable. So even if they're uncomfortable, if I only wear them for a day, I still feel like I've gotten my money's worth out of them. And they're, um, the black part, the black belt is kind of shiny, like patent leather. They're so cute. And then on the bottom, we have this rubber heart-shaped bit here. And it says Naughty Monkey on it, on the heart. And the toes are kind of squared a little bit right here. Which is not typically the kind of thing I would wear, but I just thought these were just so perfect. And see, these are absolutely perfect for what I want to do. So, these are my new shoes. <laughs> At least temporarily, and then I'll probably sell them on eBay. Um, <clears throat> speaking of eBay, I don't, I don't sell much on eBay anymore. I've, I've kind of had a falling out with eBay. Um, I, I do sell some, but I don't sell anywhere near as much on there as I used to. Um, it's because I've gone back and forth with them on some things and I've been very unhappy with them. But every now and then I do find some things at Goodwill that I like to sell. Or I may have something of my own that I want to sell, and I do. And today I found two pairs of men's jeans. Um, and I'm just going to show you. These are American Eagle. And they're, they're, um, I found that the larger size men's American Eagle jeans sell pretty well. Um, these are, let's see, it has the American Eagle name on the inside of the waistband. These are low, loose jeans, and they're 3832. It's kind of hard to show you because, you know, it's hard to hold up a pair of jeans, but it's a nice pair. And they're in good shape. And, um, I'm going to list these on eBay when I find the time, which is not easy to do. If you hear scurrying and scampering, I'm not being invaded by squirrels. My cats are actually going through their nighttime crazy spell. If you have cats, you know, they they go a little crazy at night sometimes, or they'll, they'll have a certain time of day where they just kind of go a little bonkers for a little while. My two cats right now are going through that for the night. They'll chase each other around for a while, and then they go off and take a nap. I mean, it's, they do it every night. <clears throat> And here's the second pair of men's American Eagle jeans. And they're almost identical to the first pair. And these are also 3832s. And they have the name on the inside, but the stitching, the stitching of the name is beige instead of, I think the other was white. And then it has this interesting little striped fabric trim in here. These are loose fit jeans 3832s and I button the button but I used to sell a lot of stuff on eBay you know as a single mom it, you know it really comes in handy having a little bit of extra money um, when you're raising kids by yourself it can it can be hard sometimes and trust me if you if you are dealing with that I know exactly what it's like because I've done it for a long time. 
um, it's, it's, um, it's good to have a little extra money every now and then. Um, I've been selling things on eBay to, you know, a little, sometimes a lot, sometimes not so much, but I've been doing it now for 18 years. I started in 1999, um, and I still do some and it does help. I mean, you know, it's, I have, have two kids and one of them has braces that my insurance doesn't cover and I'm having to pay for that. So any extra money really comes in handy. So when I go into Goodwill, honestly, anymore when I go in there, I mostly look for props for videos. I find all kinds of, and I get good ideas for videos. Um, if you, if you want to make uh, ASMR videos or any type of videos <clears throat> and you're looking for inspiration, I would recommend going in a thrift store and you just wander around and you look at everything and you'd be surprised how many things you will see that will make you think of ideas for videos or it works for me. I get all kinds of good ideas. So um, here's another pair of men's pants. I found a lot of men's stuff today. These are Izod saltwater um, slacks or khakis, chinos, whatever you want to call them. Straight fit, 3630s. And they're very nice. They're brand new. They still have the tag on them. Um, kind of a, I must want to say they're kind of a salmon color. They're very soft. So clearly, you know, I bought these to sell. I'm not going to be wearing them, but. They're very nice, straight leg, khaki pants, or chinos, whatever you want to call them, flat front. They're very nice. I find new clothes in there all the time. I mean, it's remarkable. <laughs> but none of this stuff is all that exciting, except for maybe this pair of pants. This pair of pants has a personality all its own. Look at these. Yellow corduroy pants. And these are also Azod saltwater wash pants, but they are corduroy and they are yellow. <laughs> like very yellow. <laughs> they have the little Azod label back here on the back, right at the waistband. And I found that, the, you know, odd colored pants like these usually sell pretty well. Something you don't see every day. If they're in good shape, sometimes you can make money on those. Now this, you know, sometimes you'll see things and you may not have anything in mind at that moment for a video. But sometimes I'll pick it up anyway and then I think maybe I could use this for a video. That was kind of the case with this shirt. Now there's nothing really remarkable about the shirt itself. It's just a red, like a red polo style shirt. It's a men's shirt with the collar and the buttons here. But I bought it because of this. Hollywood Nails and Spa. And my first thought was, you know, what if, what if Liddy ended up, Liddy, that's not, that's my character from my story I wrote, sorry. Lynette, what if Lynette ended up working in some kind of really fancy nail, uh, Hollywood, like Hollywood Nails and Spa? You know, what would that be like? What would she do? But whatever she would do, I would have her wear this, this um, polo shirt. So it was $3.79, so I can very easily uh, wash this, dry it, and put it away. And... Uh, save it and then maybe think of something for her to do later where she may end up briefly or temporarily working at Hollywood Nails and Spa. Who knows? So that's not for eBay. Oh, you're never going to guess who this is for. I'm going to find the top. This shirt is crazy. Isn't that tremendous? And look, it goes all the way around. <laughs> Sequins and beads as far as the eye can see. <laughs> I 
Yeah, I'm thinking this is for charity. She can wear this. This part here is mesh. Like it has a V-neck right here that comes down. Can't really see it when I hold it like this. But this part here, so you can see my hand. Yeah. That, um, I don't know what she would do in this, but I'm hanging on to this for charity to wear. Somewhere, I couldn't leave it. It was $3.79. I said, you know, I have to have that shirt. But here's how it looks close up. So you can see it has these little black beads and then the gold sequins designed to look like flowers. It's very cool. It's heavy. <laughs> it's kind of scratchy, but it's, it's lined. So, you know, sometimes if you have things with sequins on them, they can be really scratchy. But it's, it's lined, so it should be okay. Now this I got for me, because it's pretty. And I like the color. Um, it's kind of long, so it's going to be kind of hard to show you. It is a, uh, it's just a long sweater, like a cardigan. And it's burgundy, and I really love this color. I have a lot of these long uh, knit cardigans like this. And even the sleeves have the furry trim on them. And it's ribbed, you see, all the way down the back. And it's, it's just really long. <laughs> and it has these ties in the front if you want to tie it together. But I wear these a lot in the fall and winter. Like, I will wear this with just a simple black top under it. And maybe a, just a pair of black pants or, or whatever. I mean, you know, and then I will find a necklace that matches this color. And it's just a really simple outfit to put together quickly. So this, this is for me, it's very soft. So after I wash that, I'm gonna have that available to wear. And this is for my younger son. Both of my kids love hoodies. They wear them all the time. And this one is about big enough to, it's about the right size for my younger son. It's a nice, really nice Carhartt hoodie and it has a little pocket in the front the little Carhartt thing on it and this is embroidered the Carhartt across here is embroidered in white it has this little design and it's really nice and thick it has like a like this fleece on the inside so it's gonna be really warm and really soft and it's really nice um, but that was I think it was $1.79, I think. And, you know, as fast as kids outgrow clothes, you really can't beat that. I mean, you know, it's great. And he's really bad. Sometimes, like, he'll wear a t-shirt under it. And sometimes if he's running around in the after-school program, he'll take off the hoodie and lay it down somewhere. And sometimes we never find it. It never, it's just gone. But for $1.79, if it gets lost or if it gets messed up somehow, I don't really worry about it. So it's, it's kind of nice, you know, I can buy clothes because they outgrow things so quickly. And if he loses it or it gets damaged or whatever, I, I don't, you know, it's not like I paid $30 for that. So <clears throat> it's, it's kind of nice. Now, the last two things I have to show you are basically the same. They're both the same thing, but I was really happy to find them and I bought these to sell. I'm not going to keep these. These are, and I haven't seen one of these in a long time, and I found two of them today. And they weren't even together. I found them in two separate parts of the store. They probably came from the same person, though. It's very heavy. It is a men's guess jean jacket from back in the 80s. Both of these were made in the USA, which tells me they were made probably back in the 80s before they went and started making things in Mexico. We have the old, um, the old guest tag in here, and all of the buttons say guess on them. This is a men's extra, extra large. So it's kind of hard to show you, <laughs> but it's an, a vintage, probably 80s, maybe early 90s jean jacket. And it has the side pockets. It's very thick. It's very nice. Um, and down here at the bottom, we have the guest 
little the little guest tag down here at the bottom. And we have little pockets on the side and the two pockets up here. And then of course it buttons down. You have one, two, three, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six buttons. And it looks like it's it may be new. If it's not new, it's only been worn a few times. It's not faded at all. I mean, it's very nice. So this is the first one that I found. And then as I was going through the store, I found another one. Now this one actually does feel new. It's still kind of starchy. You know, like when you first buy something, it kind of has that starchy feel. So this one is actually an extra, extra, extra large. And it has the same tag right there. And this one, it, the, the first one is sort of an indigo color. It's a very dark blue. I wouldn't say it's black, but it's like an indigo color. This one is a little bit lighter. And the stitching is a different color. The stitching is more of a brown. The stitching on the first one is a lighter color. But this one is a bit bigger than the first one. I don't think this has ever been worn. I think this is almost like brand new, but both of these, I think they were both made in the USA. And again, down here we have the little guest tag on the front down on the lower left hand side. And we have the little side pockets here on both sides. And then we have the breast pocket there and there. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six buttons. The other one may have seven. I don't know. But, um, yeah, I bought these to sell. I got these for $4.99 each. So, um, hopefully I can get more than that for them. <laughs> but anyway, um, that is everything that I bought <clears throat> today at Goodwill. Oh, and I have this hat. I got this from uh, Rose Gal, which is a, an online shopping website. Um, I have one very similar to it, but it's more of a beige color. I just got this in the mail today, too. I wanted to show you that before I forgot. It's very comfortable. It's very nice. I actually wore it. I had to go to Aldi earlier, right after I checked the mail, after the mailman came. And I had to go to Aldi, and I just put my hat on and took off to Aldi in the snow. We had snow almost all day today. It was very nice because the roads are still in good shape, but we have pretty snow everywhere. So um, anyway, that is everything I had to show you. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope that you have a wonderful day. And I'll see you again really soon.